I'm Jordan Brady. I'm the owner and creator uh, of Lobo Adventure Trailers. I call myself the Head Explorer, so we don't really go by names here at Lobo. But uh, yeah, this is our, our prototype stage one uh, adventure trailer, um, stage two or 2.0. We haven't figured out what we're going to call the next one coming in. Uh, but this prototype right now is, is has withstood all of our, our uh, tests. Now I'm going to give you a quick walk around of what we love the most and some features that you've got on here. The key is uh, never stop exploring, but do it simply as, uh, or comfortably, excuse me, is our, our motto. So never stop exploring, do it comfortably. We'll take you through. Uh, all of our trailers, um, if you buy them outright from us, have uh, an awning and a tent. Uh, your choice of brand, right? So we want our customers to be able to customize the size of their family, how, what type of camping they're gonna be doing, what kind of scenarios they're gonna be using the trailer for, how many people do they wanna cook for, or how many people are gonna be traveling with them. And so we're gonna help them customize their trailers the best they can, that we can, to help their needs. But right now, these prototypes are already outfitted with a queen size bed and a 270 awning and a, uh, a 50 liter uh, fridge. So let's go ahead and show you where all the magic happens. So on your left side panel right here, you're going to have your kitchen galley, your storage. Right now, uh, it's, it's just got some of our electrical. So anytime you, you stop at your, your, uh, your, your house, you, you stop, plug it in. You can either plug in straight into your home, and it does have 200, two 300 watt 12 volt batteries. So a little bit bigger than car batteries. And uh, I went five days on just those batteries without charging them. And we still had plenty of voltage to, to work us out through the night and get us going. Uh, it does have 100 watt solar panel hookups, and we'll go and show you where that's at. Um, and uh, let's see here. I think we've got a couple. So our first couple of buyers actually will get a 100 watt solar panel with their purchase. So let's go ahead and take a look. Now you've got your electronic system very simple. Uh, all of this is upgradable. So you notice it's not the Red Arc system or anything like that. But we've got your normal Bluetooth stereo system, and on here you've got your electronic system. So we're going to push it, pull it open. Oh, excuse me, brand new with the sticker. Flip on our system, turn on, and this is gonna be our left side galley lights. This is gonna be our right side galley lights. You can't see it because we're it's daytime. Your stereo is gonna flip on, and then also your water pump, you can hear it, ready? Oh, we can't hear it very well. Let's go ahead and open up the magical kitchen. It's right here. This is where all your magic, all your entertaining is gonna be getting done. All right, this is gonna be our kitchen pullout. Now, this is just a basic fridge that came with our manufacturing of the China, uh, our China trailer, excuse me. Um, our manufacturing is in China, our design and R&D is here. So, um, manufactured there, assembled here, R&D done here, sold to you. So this comes, this basic Alpacor um, fridge comes with all of our, our units. You see it's a little dusty from our photo shoot on Saturday, but 50 liters. Uh, we've got a couple of days on this, which is nice. You can upgrade all the way to, I believe it's a 75 liter uh, fridge for this storage. Now, your um, your your kitchen pull out comes all the way out to here. Now, look how big that L-shaped kitchen is. you got plenty of flat surface space. If you're not using your kitchen, you can use this. These are both 5,000, uh, excuse me, yeah, let's see, you know, 1,000 pound each uh, swing out arms. So you got a lot of pressure on here, right? You're not going to use that much, but you got a lot of pressure on here. Most people who are going to be cooking in the kitchen are probably going to be cooking like this, right? So they can use it if they want. They can pull it out. But here's our kitchen. So you got your sink over here. Actually, for this demonstration, I'm just going to pull this all out so you can have a better view. All right. So you got your sink right here. You got your stove right here. Plenty of space to be cooking on. Um, I don't know why this doesn't have the griddle on top. There is a griddle that comes on top right here. <laughs> we'll have to go get it inside the shop. Uh, we've sold three trailers. I think that's where those other two went. But we, there's a griddle on here. Our pan, which is in my personal trailer, fits a, 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 a 17 inch pizza pan on top. And it cooks with both of these going, which is really phenomenal. Or if you're just boiling water or if you're cooking a single omelet, you can do that here as well. Um, like I said, on our next trailers that we're gonna be creating, the, the sink is actually going to be here, and this is going to be a drop-down where you can set in your own cook partner, you can set in your own Blackstone griddle, things like that. A lot more customizable. But right now, you're already outfitted with your sink and your stove. All right, so let's go ahead and move on to uh, storage. Now, this, uh, this unit has a ton of storage. I've got three kids. Two of them are girls. They have a lot of stuff that comes along with camping. And so if you know camping and you have kids, 
you need storage. So you got kitchen here, the same storage is on the other side, and I'll show you that. But my favorite is what I like to nickname the casket storage drawers, okay? So underneath, we're gonna pull the swing out here, unhitch it, and swing it out. All right, suck that there. And all of our hinges, by the way, are outfitted with, with uh, steel hinges. Uh, this, these ensure that there's not gonna be any dust or water getting inside. These are gonna stay clipped, and you're not gonna hook anything on these, and they're all lockable for safety. So if you have to go off-roading, or if you have to leave your stuff here, and you gotta lock up your trailer, every single one of these doors are lockable. All right, so these are my favorite, favorite drawers. I call these the casket drawers, why? Because they're humongous. They fit a ton of storage, and there's three of them. So this is our, actually our 100 watt uh, solar panel that goes in here, foldable, does hook up to the front of the trailer. Uh, currently I've got, you know, two folding chairs, a air pump for the tires and hose. Uh, but a lot of people, we can segment these out for food storage, for cables, for any of your uh, recovery gear, things like that. All right, I'll go ahead and shut these. Like I said, there are three of them. All right, very, very long. All right, on our next one, Look, they don't come out. They're not they're not pulling out. On our next one, we're actually gonna do a drawer here, a bigger drawer here, and a pull-out slide for uh, foldable tables. So you can put a, a full length six foot folding table underneath here to take with you and your family. Because you know you need a place. There's a couple of ideas we've worked with, but anyways. So we'll go ahead and shut this. Go ahead and close our, our rear swing out and move on to the right side storage. Now, like you saw the left side, the right side is the same, minus all the electronics. So plenty of storage over here, super deep boxes, right? So you can put bins in here, you can go to the container store and get all your needs. And your batteries, by the way, your two batteries are stored under these panels. So if you need to access them, you wanna upgrade them to anti-gravity batteries or anything like that, um, those panels are available uh, for you to access those. But again, tons and tons of storage. Now over here, um, this is where your water heater is gonna hook up. This is where your shower unit's going to be. So you would hook up your shower, swing out to the front of your trailer. It would swing out next to your, your, your tent and you would hook up your, your Julka water heater. Right now, this is not hooked up to water heater. This is your water import. We do, you're able to hold 18.5 gallons on that and refill. Um, and there is hoses that comes with that. So this is your water pump on the other side of this. I can show you that inside the kitchen and your hot and cold water, and what you would do is you would mount your water heater, your tankless water heater on this door, all right? Uh, okay, so then your propane, you've got two propane hookups, and for the front of this box, you've got a couple of options. You can either have your propane separated, one for the, the cooking and one for the, the water heater, or we can put them on the front and make this a pull through. So again, this is a storage box here. We've mounted the propane on this side and a propane on that side. Some customers have asked us to remove this door and make it so you can have uh, bin storage in the center. And we can totally do that for you if that's something you're wanting to do. You want to put the propane on the front and do a pull through. And then my two favorite storage compartments are this long one, you're probably wondering what that's for, and this top one. We'll go to the top one first. Now this top one, again, is, are the only ones that have covers. You can guess why, it's because of rocks and dust and things like that. We don't want it to get inside your locks. So we make, we cover them up. And this is your flat storage. For me, when I'm off-roading or when I'm uh, going off grid, all of my tools go in here. So like, uh, for, I'll show you in a minute, for balancers, you do have this to ratchet your balancers up and down, but I bring a drill. I bring, I bring um, some recovery tie downs. I bring, you know, a lot, a lot of stuff that goes in here. Maybe a, a, a mallet, a couple of axes, a, a shovel, things like that, right? Um, I put all of those in here and shut them and lock them, right? So my kids can't get into them. They're out of the way. This is kind of a harder drawer to open. So my six-year-old daughter's not gonna get into the kind of the dangerous stuff. She can play around the trailer. They love, love, love. When this tent is expanded, they call it their tree house. It's their tree house, it really is. That's kind of what this is all about. It's about family. Now this is a pull-through storage, okay? It's the width of the trailer and it's long. You're probably wondering what it's for. Well, if you've got families, this is where your current folding table, your folding chairs, your flat chairs are going to go. So I'll go open up the other side. You stay here real quick, all right? So you can come all the way through, right? 
The other fun idea that a couple customers have suggested they want to do with this is they actually want like a James Bond Molly panel pullout to put like munitions on or shovels or axes or things like that. Kind of a cool idea. And then another customer who's going to take it to a custom, a custom shop is doing a pullout flat screen TV, which is super cool, right? So uh, a lot of um, our competitors don't have something like this. This is something that we thought about a long while just because we have a lot of flat, long things that we need to store. A lot of people don't have those nice compact camp chairs, you know? So you've got, you can put tables in here, you can put flat, uh, flat chairs in here, stack them all up. Those don't get in the way, all right? Like I said, when you do upgrade the rack though with um, off road, excuse me, Overland Rough Racks, there is gonna be molly panels on both sides and storage underneath that you can store all of them, all right? As you can see, we've got surround lighting. So these lights illuminate when you're driving. Um, and on the inside, you have a lot of illumination on all of these panels. When you open up drawers, you're going to be able to see what you're looking at. All right. Uh, if you come around to the front here, you'll notice that we have a pull lever here. Our braking system comes with uh, electronic emergency brakes, electronic engaging brakes for when you're going downhill for downhill assist. And that's where this plug in comes in and an e-brake for parking. Now, if you notice, we've got our basic two inch hitch on here. That's just for transportation. We've contracted with Lock and Roll, with Max Coupler, and a couple of other these 360 articulating hinge companies, hitch companies that we can get you dialed in with. So when you park, you pull this, it locks your trailer in place, you drop your balancers, you expand your tent, your awning, and you're all set up for camp. So do you want to, do you want me to expand the tent and awning and stuff? Can we? Is that cool? We can, yeah. So, yeah. so rule of thumb, whenever you're camping, you're going to want to go in the same order every single time because if you do the awning first if you do the kitchen first it's going to be very very complicated okay i just usually set that there so what we're going to do is we're going to shut up our kitchen and very simply come over here push down on these two is there legs that come out of the bottom there isn't but there can be yep so again that's why we we did these 1000 weight uh hinges if your kids are hanging on it it might bend i would suggest not doing that but the idea is I can set you know I can set all of my cutting board stuff over here or I can have a, a, a sink full of water washing dishes and it's not going to do anything right okay. it, it moves and shakes but when you're doing all that and you're done getting all the food push your fridge in you know mm. access your dishes and it's way more sturdy that way right so we're going to shut the kitchen right now oh also here I'll pull this out real quick so if you come over here I'm gonna turn off the electronics and you'll see so you can listen to the water pump. You wanna come in here? Oh. You can listen to the water pump back there. Oh wow. Yeah, so there's no water in there, but that is your water pump switch. It's not loud at all. It's not loud, right? All of our electronics, you can charge your goodies, your phones. You can hook up a 12 volt to it if you've got something like that. We've got this plug here. There's also uh, plugs on the other side hidden in the walls. We don't want it to be too protruding or true too seen, but they are available for you when you need them. All right, so I'm gonna turn the electronics off, three switches. I'm gonna shut the door here. And with your fridge plug-in, they plug in right here. These buttons over here are, are available and accessible without turning on your electronic system. So my fridge is off right now. I just click this on, I load it with my goodies, and I get on the road. And these can stay cool while I'm driving without draining the battery too much and without having the electronic system activated. So if I do go ahead and lock the doors and I do go ahead and leave for you know, a day to go off-roading and things like that. My stuff is staying cool and it's staying safe from bears, from people, from monsters, you know, all of those things. All right, so we're going to turn this off. Shut the kitchen up. We're going to go ahead and get our tent going. Now, these tents that are on here are basic soft top tents. If you wanted to go with an Overland Vehicle Systems tent that has a hard shell top, two to three person sleeper, we could totally connect you with them and help you get involved and help you get outfitted with some of their stuff. We do have an OBS, Overland Vehicle Systems 270 awning here. It is humongous. You're going to see us do it right now. But the way to open your camp is always tent, awning, kitchen. And then when you're putting away, close kitchen, awning, tent. And you'll see why in a second, all right? So we're going to go ahead and unzip and undo our tent and get it going. This is going to be kind of a 10-minute process, so if you don't want to film it, you do. Yeah, yeah. So it's just an easy scrap. The whole point of this system is you could you can go camp basically anywhere and not have to worry about 
Where am I sleeping? What's the flat ground I'm sleeping on? What animals are out there, right? Is there water nearby? Do I need shade? So if you're going to Joshua Tree, if you're going out someplace without any, any coverage, you're going to have that ability to stay out longer and have here with our, our, our system. So I'm going to go around and pull the Velcro up on all sides. We have Velcro up the hand, zipper for these tents. You want me to start unzipping this side? No, it's on this side. Oh. I started from that side. Mm -hmm. So how did you come up with this whole idea with the, with the trailers? Is that just... So, no, so there's a couple of other companies that do make trailers out there. My biggest thing is it's $45,000 to get into a trailer like this, you know? And our price point is much lower than that. There's families and individuals who want to off-road, who want a quality trailer that's going to be reliable, but also get into this experience with their families. You can't afford a $45,000 unit. Now, if you upgrade everything on this, yeah, it's going to get a little pricey. But our starting unit just for the trailer is going to be around $19.99, right? And then for our basic tent and awning, it's going to be around $24.99. And then if you want a premium awning and rack and swing out and suspension, it's, you know, it's $30,000 plus from there, right? But uh, these, these three prototypes that we've got right now are actually going with tent, awning, and, and everything you need with lock and go for $18,000 today. Wow. So, the thing is, like I said, they are prototypes, right? So they've been tested and tried. We are now upgrading to 2.0. I love these. I'm keeping the green one for myself, kind of my um, my baby, if you will. Like, I just want to have it, to remember it. You know what I mean? So, all right, we're going to go ahead and unzip. The tent is very easy to set up. It's a good time to get into the market, too. Everybody's looking for travel trailers and... You know... Mm. It's a new industry. This overland industry is only about nine years old in the United States. Oh. It's been around for about 30, 40 years in Australia. Mm. And over there, they did it for safety. They didn't do it for hobby. They had to go out and, and tend to the field and things like that. They did it for safety. You got, you got all sorts of spiders and crawlers and creepies on the ground. You got dingoes out there. You got big animals like yeah. kangaroos and stuff like that. So Australians, <laughs> they're, they're, the, they're the, the godfathers of the overland community, man. Those guys are... Legit. So I'm going to take this, fold it back, tuck it in between the tent and the awning. Again, all of our stuff is really rigid, so I can kneel up here and not worry about, you know, arming anything. That's the best part, you know? Your kids can crawl all over this and be safe. Well, excuse me, I wouldn't suggest them crawling all over the place, but it's not going to ruin the, 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 uh, the trailer to do that. So check it out. All I did was took the cover off, and then you grab your, you grab your ladder. Shift down, pull out. And that's it. And what you're going to do is you're going to adjust these down. And there it is. There's your tent. Super easy. Now it does come with uh, poles here. Now it does come with poles that's going to expand to this room for you. This is your uh, your weather awning. So a lot of campers don't actually camp with this on top. They'll usually fold it up and put it underneath their mattress. But because this is brand new and never slept in, there hasn't been a usual. Right. I'll give you a little peek on the inside here. <laughs> Look at that sleeping quarter. Like, just incredible, right? So my wife, my newborn son, and my two daughters sleep in here. Awesome. Yep. And the best part is, you know how in a tent you have to keep all your stuff inside of it while you're sleeping? No. Keep it inside your trailer. All you've got is sleeping bags and stuff in here. And the fun fact is, we don't roll up sleeping bags anymore. We just leave them in here all flat, fold the trailer up, and we go. No more rolling up sleeping bags. We just keep them in here. And we know that Adeline and Liv and my wife have their sleeping bags in here. When we go, we don't have to find them. We have to look for them. That's kind of the point of this trailer. You get off work on Friday. You got to think about camping. You got to go prep and get all the stuff and go to storage and all this stuff. No, no, no. It's all in here, locked up in your driveway. You hook up and go. And you're already on your adventure. So first thing you want to do is you want to bring up your, your height on your awning. So... Um, I would normally use a second camper to do this, but we can pull it off. Yeah, you want me to? Yeah, I could do it. Yeah, so. Oh, we're going to push it up? Yeah, you want to hit it up? You got to hit it. Ready? Okay. Pull back. 
go back. This is so fun. This part, this part is the best. Ready? Wow. That's an awning. Yep. You're going to feed it through the bottom of your tent, kind of tie it down. We're not done yet. Quick. Yep. She's prepping. She's already prepping the food, you know? Yeah. If it gets kind of windy, so right now we're standing alone. We don't have anything. We can go ahead and open up our kitchen. We can go ahead and open up all of our stuff. Right? Get it going. Now, if things get windy, kind of dicey, these awnings are, are, are meant to withstand a lot of wind. Okay? However, if things do get a little dicey, drop down the legs. Oh. That's the best part about OBS. Right? Now we got more support. It starts to rain. Your camping trip's not over. It starts to, you know, you can still cook, still experience your life. Now look at that. Got a full camp system. You can access your back storage with one without getting wet. You can walk around, experience all of it, right? All underneath this awning. Back up and take a look at that. Pretty dang sweet, huh? Super cool. So, I hope you enjoyed the walk around of this Overland Vehicle Systems uh, awning and also our Lobo Adventure trailer. Uh, we put a lot of love, a lot of work, a lot of design into this trailer. Hoping you can experience the love as well. Hit us up. We'll get you on your next adventure. That's what we're all about.